try to catch me howling at the moon. Sawa Nikap, if you are going to Phuket, then this video is for you. Perhaps you have already bought your tickets and reached the stage of choosing accommodation, but looking at the map you see a lot of beaches and most likely you want to choose the most beautiful, the most budgetary or the most convenient place for you personally. But you have no idea how to do it, being over hundreds or maybe thousands of kilometers from Phuket. With this video we begin a series of reviews on various areas of Phuket. Talk about each of the areas of the island, show you all the insta places and just sites in their vicinity. And also talk a little about the cost of housing. Ready? Then we'll start. Meet Caron Beach. This beach is considered one of the most beautiful and famous in Thailand. We love to come to swim and sunbathe on this beach because it is one of the largest and longest beaches in Phuket. And here you can easily find a place that is not crowded even in the peak season. But also just because we ourselves live in the area. Karon Beach is located in the northwest of Phuket. There is a large number of hotels, cafes, restaurants and other entertainments. And in comparison with other beaches, it is quite expensive, but there are also more expensive ones. This beach has very strange scent. When it's dry, it crunches like freshly fallen snow. The microphone does not pick up, but the sound is really very similar. As on any beach on the island, plankton bites occur in the water here. For a long time, we ourselves could not understand. What was this invisible thing that was biting us in the water? Especially for you, we were able to capture rare footage of plankton. But seriously, it looks like this. There are also many restaurants and cafes in the Caron Beach area where you can find delicious food and drinks, so you can definitely satisfy your hunger. If you want to do something extreme, then we recommend that you try diving, snorkeling or surfing. This is a great opportunity to see the underwater world of Phuket and feel like a real oceanic. This is certainly not the Red Sea, but for beginners it will be very interesting. On a near Caron beach you can find many companies that organize diving and snorkeling excursions. They are really beautiful underwater places with clear water and an abundance of a variety of beautiful fish, starfish and urchins. When booking a tour we recommend that you choose a reliable and trusted company so that you do not have any unpleasant experiences. And if you prefer more relaxing type of holiday, then you can rent a sunbed or deck chair on the beach and enjoy the sun, beach air and clear sea. Alternatively, you bring your own towel. You can also book a massage on the beach and relax to the fullest. Well, we are done with the beach and now we are going to the other insta places. Caron View Point is the most famous and visited observation deck in Phuket, which offers a picturesque view of three beaches – Caron, Kata and Kata Noi. And to be honest, this observation deck is located closer to the Kata and Kata Noi area, but I decided to be as illogical as the Thais who decided to call it Caron, so 
enjoy Well, you are probably wondering how to get here then. You have five options. First, rent a car. Now it's January, it's a high season and the cost of renting a car starts from $300 per month. Daily prices start from $30 per day. And remember that to drive a car you need to have an international driver license with category B. Second, you can rent a bike and yes, we chose this option. Meet our Bumblebee. Robotic In high season prices start at $130 per month or $8 per day. The option is more budgetary and this is a big plus. It is also convenient for you to navigate traffic jams on it and the most important thing is that there are no partitions and ceilings like in a car and you can enjoy the road 360 degrees. Just don't forget to look at the road. Of the minuses there is no air conditioning, a small trunk and you get wet in the rain, but this also has its own romance. To ride a bike you also need to have an international driver's license, but already with category A. The local police are constantly on duty in different places, catching tourists who ride without a driver's license or without a helmet. The next option is a taxi. The following three applications are popular here – Grab, Bolt and a driver. Prices are lower or about the same as those of taxi drivers on the street and are shown before the trip. There is also a special type of taxi, which is called a tuk-tuk. Everything can eat gloves and there is a very powerful stereo system that drives under the windows at night and infuriates everyone who tries to sleep in their bed. It costs about the same as a taxi, you can find this method of transportation on almost every corner. Oh yeah, I almost forgot, don't forget to bargain with them. The fourth option is smart bus. A fairly comfortable bus, it costs only 100 baht, which is much cheaper than a taxi. Of the minuses, such a bus only travels from the airport to Rawai beach and back, stopping only on the beaches. He travels every day from 7 am to 8 pm. And the fifth option is a regular bus, which is called Sankteo here, even cheaper, even slower and only runs until 4 pm. These buses are very atmospheric, they can be stopped almost anywhere on the road by simply raising your hand. The cost of the trip does not exceed 50 baht. They go from any beach in the direction of Phuket town. They travel quite haphazardly with an interval of 20 minutes. Well, this transport finished and we go further. Quite by chance we discovered for ourselves one wonderful non-tourist location, namely an observation deck, which is not marked on any map and we did not meet a single tourist on it. I don't know how it is called correctly, there is no mark on Google Maps, so we call it Jungle View Point, since it is located on the territory of Jungle Experience Resort. It offers a very beautiful view of the sea, city and nature, three in one. But the most pleasant thing is the absence of tourists. You can just come here and be alone with your soulmate or your mind, listen to nature, recharge with energy and good mood. Definitely recommend visiting this place. If I did yoga or meditation, I would do it here. Well, we are moving on.
Phuket's only Buddhist temple on Karon Beach is Suwan Kiri Khet or Wat Karon. It is located about 500 meters from Karon Circus. The temple is small, richly decorated with statues of mythical animals. Inside the small building is a Buddha statue carved from black sapphire. Suwon Kiri Cat is over 120 years old. Another popular place is Karon Night Market. It is located on the territory of the temple, but as the name suggests, we need to return here in the evening. This is a small market where you can buy souvenirs, clothes, jewelry and other goods. Markets like this one convey the atmosphere of Thailand very well. It cannot be explained in words, you just need to come here and take a walk around it. And in such markets, the food is insanely delicious and you can find very cheap and beautiful things. And a little more about the nightlife in Caron. When the sun begins to set below the horizon, a lot of people gather on the beach. Everyone freezes in anticipation of sunset. In Caron, like many other places in Phuket, the sun sets from the sea and when a bright fireball falls into the water, a stunningly beautiful spectacle is created. And the fact of meeting the sunset on the ocean is beautiful in itself. Night or rather evening life is present in Caron, but it is not tense and more moderate than for example in Patong. At the same time, Caron is not as boring as for example on the beaches of Naiharn or Kamala. In this regard, of course, Caron is perfect. We will tell you about other beaches in the following videos, so don't forget to subscribe. In the high season as now, budget housing options start at $15 per day or $450 per month. But if you draw up an annual or at least 6-month contract, you can find options for $300 per month. Medium options start at $600 per month and $35 per day. There's something about you, something about you, immersed inside my mind. And very good options start from $1,500 per month and $90 per day. In the low season from April to September, these prices will be two, three times less. 
A nice condo with a pool and gym can be easily rented for $300 per month, but be prepared for frequent tropical rain. Okay, let's summarize. Housing here is not the most expensive, but not the cheapest on the island. An excellent long beach where you can find solitude for yourself even in high season. According to tourists, not the most beautiful, but not the worst in the world, uh, solid floor. There is entertainment, there is something to see, but just a little bit. The nightlife in this area is not too vibrant, but not as boring as in the most other areas. Therefore, we personally believe that this area is great for a first acquaintance with Thailand. The word moderate is very suitable for this area. It has everything and at the same time in moderation. That's all for today. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. In the description we left a link to the Telegram channel, there we will post what was not included in the video. See you in new videos, Savadikap!